Uh, is, how's it going everybody? Blues R59 here. I'm going to show you guys how I pick up all my uh, brush and trees and stuff. You know, not, you know, okay, first of all, a storm comes through and you got all that shit laying around the yard. Branches and stuff like that. You know, you, you don't you go pick them up. It's, it can take you all day if you got a big yard, which I do. You know. But all those, yeah, we had a storm the other day, so I started thinking, well, I was going to go buy a trailer for my lawnmower, right? I thought, well, why buy a trailer when I just use a tarp? I had a $2 tarp in the shed right there. What I did was I, uh, it's a, I think it's a 5 by 7 tarp, you know, 2 bucks, 2 to 5 bucks, something like that, not that much at them cheap stores. Then I took a jump rope. I took three of the grommets together on one end, tied them all together, right? It looked like this. The one end looked like this at first. Do you see the three grommets? Yeah, I tied them all together, so... That way, it would have a little shield in front. See, so you start pulling it around, which I'm gonna show you. Jump rope. I wouldn't use a bungee cord in case it snaps. You know, I get hit in the back of the head. So somebody says, well, it can cause injury or death. No, it's not. Not if you use a jump rope. You're not gonna be hauling a lot of weight on it anyway. So what we're gonna do is we put the jump rope through here. I'm just gonna run it through here like that. Give it a couple knots. Oh yeah, actually, you know, yeah, it was, we had a couple ties there. Nothing fancy. You need to do two knots or three, it don't matter. I'm just going to use two because I'm just demonstrating this. There you go, see? And if it does come loose, I ain't know it's going to get you anyway, you got your seat. So anyway, I got these all, all three grommets, I went through these and tied them all together. Alright, so now I went. Yeah, you can drive these tarps all over, you can go across the driveway, they can hurt, so. All right, now I'll fire it up and show you how they pull. You see the branches all over instead of walking all over and pulling a tarp by hand. Just drive around your property, throw them on the back of that tarp. Then you drive when you're done to the fire pit. Pull it to the pit. Right? You haven't got any other end, you do it by yourself, don't matter. There you go. Just like that. There you go. Blue Sarp's cheap way of uh, saving, uh, instead of buying a cart for 200 bucks, I did it for like $5. And like I said, you guys, don't use a bungee cord because the snaps, that buckle hits you in the back of the head, that's not safe. So you want to use a cheap rope. And as I said, don't overload it either, but you can put a lot of weight on it. There you go. Lose our 5.9, you guys. Peace out.